Your attention, please. Welcome everybody to the Zoning Board. July 11, 2023. My name is Marty Akins. I'm the chairman, vice chairman, Mr. Radell, board members, Mr. Himmel, Mr. Chin, Mr. O'Brien. Uh, I would say our clerk, she's filling in for our clerk. She was our clerk for many, many years. Miss Murphy, am I right? And the director of inspectional service, Mr. Conlon, behind me. If anyone has a cell phone, please put it on vibrate or silent, not interrupt the meeting. If anyone wants to talk, please go outside. It's hard to hear it as it is. And let's start. I know the council has got a wait to go to, so I'm going to take care of that fine. First name on the old business, ZBA 2338, JBC Architect for Barons to build a two and a half story addition, the two car garage on the on the basement level on the premises 28 furnace brook. Is the applicant a representative here? Yes. If I could before we do this, uh, Mr. Chin, if you could. Anyone's gonna speak tonight, anyone, please stand up and take an oath. If you don't take an oath, you will not speak here tonight. If you think you might speak, everyone that thinks they might speak, stand up and take an oath. If you don't, you will not speak tonight. Raise your right hand, please, Mr. Chin. Do you swear to tell the truth, hold truth, and nothing but the truth of the matter now here? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you have the floor. Good evening, Chair and members of the board. My name is Bonnie Tan uh, with JCBT Architect, representing my client here, Lauren Tees, the owner, uh, representing on 28 Furnace Brook Parkway. Your address, please. Uh, Bonnie Tan, JCBT Architect, uh, 585 Washington Street, Quincy, Mass 02169. Uh, the subject property currently is a two and a half story single family dwelling uh, sitting on a residential A zoning uh, with a 7,670 square feet lot area. Surrounded by single family uh, two and a half story in the neighborhood. The existing two and a half story Gambrio style single family home consists of 1,700 plus square feet of living space with three bed, one bath. We're proposing for a inside addition of two and a half story. We're not doing the garage anymore. And um, with a proposed gross living area of a little less than 4,000, 3,988 square feet. Um, uh, that's gross living area. Uh, we're leaving the existing basement as a storage unfinished mechanical space. Uh, we're seeking for front yard setback variance and front yard paving over 20 feet. And hopefully the character of the uh, uh, building of the proposed design will uh, improve the abutters uh, value. And I did a little bit of research on the abutters property too. Um, directly behind the this is the subject property right now. So directly behind the uh, property, number 15 Maple Street, has a lot area of 6,854 square feet, which is smaller than our lot, with a gross living area of 4,400 square feet. Oh, that's, sorry, that's number 21. That's uh, another one behind that. Yeah. So number 15 Maple Street is 5,227 square feet with 4,470 square feet of gross living area. And number 14, Maple, is across the street from that one behind. 7,000 square feet with a gross living area of 5,200 uh, gross living area. 
So I don't think of what we are requesting is too much and it's residential aid, so there's no restriction of um, FAR on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, hey, I, I mean, it's a, a pie-shaped lot. Why, why do you come way over to the right in the back? In the back of, uh, yeah. it's a corner lot. Yeah, yeah. I know, but yeah. you got three, three, what is it, five, three, three, five, I can't even see this. That's not our. Are you looking at the right? No, no, no. Jesus Christ. That's the one we're for. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. What's your. Uh, 38 francs What's your living area? Oh. Not your gross living uh, area. Your total, your total living area. Total, total living area. Um, Concealed in the house. Take away your basement. Give me your living area. 390. 390. So you're being a little disingenuous by saying that you're giving the living area of your house yeah. and then giving the gross living area of the neighbor's house. So the living area of the neighbor's house is 2,042 square feet, not 4,400. I don't have that information right now. I don't have that information. I believe it's... Uh, I mean, I'm getting it right off the city's website right yeah. now. Like, so you gave 4,470 as the gross living area, which includes porches, unfinished attics, Include. unfinished basements, unfinished garages. You know, I mean, the, the actual living area, it's a 2,000 square foot house. Right, so on it's, the it's, assessor website, gross living area saying unfinished garage when it's attached, it includes in there too? I, I understand yeah. that, I am, but, but from an actual size and scale of the house, when we really get down to it, it's a 2,000 square foot house. Right. Or a 2,100 square foot house. It's not a 4,400 square foot house that you compare it to. I'm, I, not, I'm just I'm, saying, I'm, please, don't be disingenuous. Yeah. There's no yeah. reason to Totally understand, totally that, understand. That you can make decisions so, based on the reality of the situation. We included it. We included the um, enclosed uh, porch. We included it. Um, mudroom area. I'll say about 3,500. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want apples to apples yeah. of what Cross the actual area. living yep. area is. So mm -hmm. there's no reason to go buy other stuff. Yeah. What are the variances? And the paving, uh, the uh, driveway. So front yard's existing though, it's not changing. So you're leaving an existing garage though. Are you tearing it out? Yeah, right right so we have any tandem parking there now, or is it everything no, stacked? No, not going to be tandem at all. Okay. Yeah, side, you side got three cars there now? So maybe, maybe it's going to be a garage and three cars. Okay. Yeah, so it's so you're going to you, you're move the pavement over here? I'm sorry. Are you See this garage is here. See this yeah. here? Mm -hmm. So that's the new pavement? That's the yeah, new pavement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the new pavement. And then you got to pave right this whole thing here yeah. and this. Correct. Huh? So you can do it that. No, no, it's not too bad. The majority of the houses seem free. Yeah, I know. Obviously, it impacts the neighborhood a lot. Yeah. Yeah, looking at it, right? What's the Any other questions right now? I'm looking at this. Right here. Right here. It's a corner one. 
that what they're asking yeah. for is variances for the two for the front rear. I'm sorry? The two front edges? Is that all? Just uh, yeah. front yard step back on that. Um, and this is this side on Maple, on Maple, the street side, the front yard step back on that. That's the only thing you're asking and for? And the paving at the driveway, yes. That's okay. what we're asking for. Okay. Side left, right? So side left is the rear to the, to the house, yeah, exactly. to 15 Maple, right. which is, you know, it's 13, which is it's just... So it's now just you're saying, see, see it. Yeah. 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 You request in two nines. So this is two actually. parking spaces. There should be three, no? No, they only show two. Yeah, because no, originally, we have to... originally we have the, the parking yeah. in the basement. Because they have to spoke to the neighbors, they, they don't want to be taken out. Oh, right, on the right. Application. That's what I thought. But isn't so there we have uh, room in front of that? Two, two. We have two, maybe can possibly three, three uh, this parking outside. Is, well, yeah, it's only, yeah, you're 16, maybe you're only for three. Right? This, this, is in this is in compliance. 14 right? feet. Kind of just, yeah. So, so the only thing they need is, is that little portion yeah. on the front that separated us. Yeah. 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 So that's the, the front. The front's front. considered here and here. All right. Six, eight, 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 eight. One, two. Any questions? We're trying to figure out what the variance is on those sides. Just the side. <laughs> yeah. It's a corner look. It's on Maypole, right? Yeah. 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 So, so the Maypole is side the only left. one. Maypole. Maypole Street. Okay. It's really but that's, that's not 11.3 to Maple. Yeah, it's going that's down. 11.3 is to the street. Am I wrong? 11.3 to the house. To the house. Yeah, so that's the existing already. This, this is the no. It's got 14 right here, correct? Yeah, so that's, you're not, they're not even, they don't even need that to the back off. Yeah, it's too far. Yeah. So, so this is in they just need yeah. baseball. They just need the one off that's already existing. Pre-existing. Side left from yeah. the front. Side yeah. left. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Not so the rear. Yeah. Okay. The rear is the rear's the rear's already in compliance. Yeah. 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 That's what I was trying to figure out. I just thought I thought we were I was gonna ask them why. Well, the front we, the front is, is twenty three instead of twenty five. But that's already pre existing. Yeah, I you know, but it's the same. <coughs> it was I think it went up. Hmm? Oh it was nineteen and twenty three. It went up. Everything else is Went up six feet. We're the only one looking for two. Yeah. No, walk one. All right. Big walk three. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> Easily. Any questions, guys? No. No. I'm okay now. Right. You can have a seat. Thank you. Does so anyone want to speak in favor? First call. Second call. Third call. Close. Any calls? Find some hands. Yeah. All right. There's nothing from the DPW. Yeah. Oh, it's my being here. There you go. My being here. Sorry. Okay. I'm looking at yours. I'm looking at yours. What is yours? Are you No, they can just head on over. They're looking to go under. They're letting in from the DPW reading for the record. Uh, DPW dated May 12, 2023, in regards to 28 Furnish Brook Parkway. We've submitted, received, uh, we have reviewed the submittal for the above reference project, and our comments are as follows. One, specify how much impervious area will be increased through the development. Two, provide plans showing the layout of utility grading, drainage, and the construction details. Three, explain how the surface runoff will be discharged and treated. Four, the existing lots parcels should be consolidated into one lot parcel for the development. The consolidation plan shall be recorded in the Registry of Deeds, Norfolk County. Five, upon completion of the project, as built plan showing all utilities and building footprints need to be submitted along with the digital file. Thank you. Okay, here is closed. Is there anyone opposed or inside? Step up, name and address for the record, please. I'm Susan Peter. I live at 38 Furnace Brook Parkway. So I'm on the westerly side of 20 mm -hmm. Furnace Brook. And I have really two issues. Okay. One is the survey line that they put in place mm -hmm. doesn't match with my survey line and doesn't match with the assessor's line. 
So I'm questioning if the sort of trajectory, the back point is right, but the trajectory is yeah, it's kind of a high right. shape sort of. And if that impacts any of the. Well, it would. If it's not right, yeah, it would impact everything. Yeah, because. Anything else? Yeah, I, I'm questioning also the. Um, I'm not a two and a half story house, by the way. I'm only one and a half story. Yeah. So where this house is going to be closer to my house and taller, I noticed that there's an extra five feet being added to the roof line. Mm -hmm. And I. I know I've asked Bonnie and she said you're not changing it, but I can't help but to look at, you know, the plans A21 is the original and A22 is the proposed. And when you look at sort of the elevation, it's going from like 20, uh, 29 feet to like 35 feet. 35 feet still within the zoning, but it's all in the attic. So now that attic is going to be a 13 foot height attic is that livable space does that get added into the factor of all this uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I gotta pick up the thing already on there yeah. yeah go ahead yeah I mean. so we are not changing the roof height the roof line is going to be the same on that side the the existing <coughs> this is the existing Roof at the front um, yep. on the side yeah, yeah, facing yeah. the Maple Street. Right. So this roof and structure stays, and we carry a hip along this P to connect the new addition, and then start the new another gambrio roof to match this, <coughs> but at the lower the gambrio. But the hoop, the hip roof, the new hip roof will be aligned with this existing. Roof. But if I look at aligned with this. But the original numbers show. I'm oh, taking out the floor. Let me add up floor 118. That might be from the ground. No, it's three feet. Correct. The grade changes. Yes, the grade changes. You might change. be looking at the different grade. I was just looking at the attic floor to now the height being 118 to 130 something. That was what I was looking at. So this this right here is the existing existing structure that stayed, and this is the hip that across. We're not touching this roof at all. The existing this part is the existing. I guess what I was asking is here. See the attic level is one eighteen. Yep. To one thirty one. If you do the math, that's thirteen. The old one was one eighteen to one twenty six. I have seven and a half feet. So there's the first an extra five feet. Just looking at the map. Oh, that might be a typo, but the total, the total of 29, 10 yes, at the existing, yes, right and the proposed the same. That yeah. might be a typo. So the total is the same, the overall height. It might be from base elevation to yeah, change. Yeah, right. But then you get four feet up, right? You get four feet to the first, first one. The overall dimension of the base, the <laughs> elevation is the same. So then the elevation. Three eight, three eight. So that's probably what they get for a difference. Right. Yeah, that might be a typo that we have on the this elevation that yeah. we're looking at. One thirty one. Yeah, so it's thirty one four from the first floor. One thirty one minus ninety six. One hundred. Right. Grade. First floor. And then grade is uh, ninety six four. four right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's three feet. Yeah, it's exactly. 35 feet, correct? And before it was 20, right? mm, We're not changing it as uh, in change of close to 30 feet, 29, 10, but you, got a, you, get, you get a three foot six from grade to first floor. I correct? think that number is typo. The dimension, there's a dimension line across. It's 29, 10 right. and a half. Either way, what do you want to do? We, your, we know that thing works. What's your interior for? Eight and a half feet? It's still fine. Yeah. About eight and a half, yeah. yes. And first and second, eight and a half feet. Yeah. Uh, the existing, let me see. It's not like you're going to have a house going. Like we're dropping, we're, we're dropping. We're dropping. It, just seemed, it just seemed like it was higher. Like, I just think, no, I think we're dropping, it is, we're so dropping the first you floor. You don't have a lot down there a little bit. We're Three dropping this, yeah. the new That's addition fine. floor to get a higher ceiling. But on the second floor is a line. It's a line, yeah. And then the line. ceiling of the second floor is aligned with the existing. With the existing house. Yes. Okay. 
I'm but just... I'm, I'm concerned about the, the drawings and, and who did them if they don't match. And we will find, we'll talk about that in a minute. So as far as the property line? Yeah, that's, that's well, a biggie if it don't match. Yeah, that's a real big. But that's so, something that we wouldn't deal with here, right? Yeah, we could. We, we, we just can. bring it back and we make sure they're right. Yeah. And if someone's saying they're wrong, they're wrong. If they're wrong. So they're not wrong. wrong. If somebody's so wrong. Instead of a flop there. We have Scott Serrano to do the survey. We can we consult a different surveyor come in. Did you have a survey? I did. I actually, it's line. funny that's, that Kelly, I had him do my property a couple of years ago when I had my driveway put in. Mm -hmm. And I removed the stakes because right. I don't want to see the ugly stakes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but the, back, the truth is the back line, the back stake is, is right on, maybe, you know, give or take an inch. It's yeah. just, I think that Trajectory. How far is it off from the front? Um, it's not that far. It's just I, mean, I love these bushes inches, and the way inches, I talk the about the bushes. But my survey showed the bushes are on my line, and there's surveys showing it's a mix and mostly on their line. And I so really we're talking a foot, feet. two feet? Yeah, foot two feet. Yeah. I mean, the, the total difference, difference is three feet in length. It's now it's time to get it figured out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I do want to get it figured out now. This happened once before here. Every, is that once before this? Every set of bushes on the street, the next neighbor owned. <laughs> I swear to God, it was Remember all. That. Remember? The sidewalks yeah. that went to their house was the neighbors. Yeah. Oh, so we had to do the whole street over. Everyone had a sign on that we moved this whole thing three feet to the sidewalk to yours instead of the neighbors. Oh, boy. It was bizarre. Um, it really was, because we had three sets of drawings and none of them matched. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I actually, I looked at my deed, their yeah. deed, the right. assessor's map, right. and then doesn't match this. So right. I felt confident that my survey was correct. And I think they feel confident it is correct, so we're going to get to it. Yeah, thank okay. you. That's it. And thank you. Thank you. I want to put a, just a small comment on that. So the smallest setback, side yard setback to their, to her property is 17.1. So if it's two feet off, it's still but in the But if it's three feet or four, I don't know what it is, but if it's wrong, it should be right. Yeah. All right. Understood. Is there anyone else? Post run aside? Name and address for record, please. Hi there. Shamir Patel, and I'm the buyer at 15 Maple Road. So thank you for for the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need that. Uh, I have a handful of concerns. You know, the first one is the movement of the driveway closer to my home. We have a, a very established uh, tree that, that blooms beautifully and you know, quite a bit of green space between our existing home and what is the existing garage. And what they're proposing to do is dig out you know, further closer to, and I guess right up until you know, the property line, which you know, I have fear, my family has fear that it's going to significantly damage the tree mm -hmm. and eliminate the green space between our two homes. So, if that could be, you know, reviewed or, or discussed, you know, with uh, with the new owners. The the second is just the sheer size mm -hmm. of the home compared to to our home. And thank you for for acknowledging that my home isn't a four thousand square foot home, but it, it's a modest two thousand square foot, you know, single family home. And you know, we're fortunate to have two and a half stories. Uh, Sue, I'm like you, but um, you know what what we did notice is just the sheer size of this home. If you if you count, you know, finished square footage, you know, or even the unfinished square footage, it's going to swallow up our home and and Sue's home and some of the other homes on the house. It's just it's going to be an absolutely massive footprint, mm -hmm. and you know I don't see value coming to our home, looking you know being in the shadow of a you know a six seven thousand you know realistically square foot home and. You know the original plan showed you know a finished basement with media room wine room etc um, and you know there's nothing prohibitive from that space being mm -hmm. finished down the line so you know that's my my second concern and, and i appreciate you folks looking into it for me thank you Mr. Good, thank you is there anyone else opposed running the side counselor also, McCarthy. Hey, he's got no one running against him. Way to go, boss. Hey. Uh, Dave McCarthy, Ward 1, 48 Whitney Road. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the times where I come up here and kind of try to hope 
that we can come up with the best solution. I think um, Sue, who came up earlier, uh, the Virgin Lady, uh, about the surveying of the, of the land. And I know that uh, all those houses down there, um, Shamir, the Ryans next door, Sue, the corner lot here that Lorraine's looking at, they, they all kind of pie in the back. to the back, you know? And it's kind of a unique little area there, but a beautiful area. And the home would be beautiful. It's a big house. It's a lot of house for a 76, I think, 69. I know it's conforming, it just makes it, but it is a big home. I'd like to see us take a step back and do a little more homework on the surveying, uh, you know, and do a little more homework maybe on uh, the footage that we talked about that we wanted to make sure was correct uh, in the drawings till we move forward. Um, I sat with um, Bonnie and company to try to figure out a way to make it a smaller footprint. Yep. Uh, as, as Shamir indicates, uh, it's going to be a, a, a big home. And, uh, you know, I, I know the neighbors and I know I don't want to see it. And I know a lot of other folks who will be in that area don't want to see something that's out of character. Right. Um, especially on that corner. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, uh, it's a great spot with some great homes. So, uh, you know, I'll leave it up to the board's discretion, but um, I'd like to see us take a step back and, and take another good look at this and make sure that uh, Sue's line is correct, uh, uh, along with all the other, uh, the lines that, that form the lot. But a lot of those homes down here in Marymount do have sometimes, you know, that, that separation of hedges in different spots. It's not a fence line and it did look a little close to me on her side too when we started talking about how much the house was going to come that way. I want to see it succeed though. I think Lorraine would be a great neighbor and I, I think it would be a great addition to a house that's been sitting there empty and you know you don't want it to uh, start falling apart or start looking a little blighted so uh, I'll leave it up to you guys but uh, that's where I stand kind of a little regroup. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Last call. I have two letters here that are in opposition. Uh, Teresa Sheehan, do you speak tonight? Phyllis McGuire, did you speak tonight? All right, we'll read them into the record. Phyllis McGuire, 21 Wabin Road. Uh, I'm concerned the neighbor of uh, I am a concerned neighbor of the additions that were presented to the zoning board for 25 Furnace. My understanding is the owner wants to add on many additions to the single family home and garage, which I'm opposition to. First, let me say the architect's plans that the way they were originally with over 5,000 square feet of living space and an 1,100 square foot garage <coughs> look monstrous, much monstrous in this medium to small single family homes neighborhood. Secondly, with the reduction of 4,000 plus would still be too big for the neighborhood. I've walked by the house every morning and it's still vacant even though the owner bought it in October. Her shed door is left wide open. I can understand her wanting beachfront property, but to build such a mon monstrous house with five bathrooms, three master suites, to me has Airbnb written all over it. She loves the beach and water views, but does not live there. With all the additions on top of what it was purchased for, she could have bought direct waterfront on Shore Ave where there were two houses are recently renovated. Marymount's a sleepy little neighborhood and if the owner does decide to rent it out as Airbnb, I am sure her abutting neighbors with small children would not, would not be too pleased with strange cars coming and going. Please put my name on the record for opposition to these new plans as I cannot attend tonight's meeting. And then Patrick and Teresa Sheehan, 24 Moreland Road. We're writing to oppose the addition being proposed for 28 Furnishbrook Parkway. This is a neighborhood of single family homes, not large or multifamily homes, and especially not the monstrosity trying to be developed. What is being proposed is over three times the size of the home that currently sits there. The home was purchased in February and has not had anyone living in it as of yet. We're strongly opposed to being, this being developed on this lot. That's, uh, we'll call it by the human post. Uh, number one, we're gonna check the lot lines. Number two, I think it's too big too for that. It's too big of a house. Uh, it's gonna be cut back a little bit. I know the lot lines, you got a 76 iron square foot a 4,000 square foot house and it's just, you know, you, you try to make a house that looks with the neighborhood and that wouldn't look like the neighborhood unless they all grew at the same time and they're not gonna, so. 
Uh, I wouldn't be in favor of this house. I would be in favor of something a little smaller, not huge smaller, but smaller, to make it fit with the neighborhood. And we got to check the lot lines and the environments too. My comments. Yes. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. So, want to withdraw, or you want to put it away for a month and then come back with a new set of, or you want us to vote on this? Uh, can we uh, revise drawing? All right. Uh, August 11th, 26th. Are you around? August. I just was looking at this. Why don't I have it up? I don't know, but I, I, I we gotta have everyone here to see it I uh, can do the 22nd. Of August. 822. 822 on the end. We have a motion. Uh, ZBA 2338 JCBT architect for a variance to build a two and a half stories side addition with a two car garage and basement level of the premise number 28 Furnish Brook Parkway, Quincy. I make a motion to move that hearing to August 22nd. So Second. that's a plan, small house. Okay. On the motion, saying that all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So move. Thank you. Thank you. For everyone on tonight's agenda, let's. Uh, and a new business, Jason Cole, for various finding to subdivide the lot into two lots, construct two townhouse with parking under for each, each unit for one vehicle on the premise number 1247 C Street. African representative counselor, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the board, Rob Plumbing from Plumbing and Plumbing. I do represent the applicant here, Mr. Jason Cole. Uh, Jason is the owner of 1247 um, C Street. Uh, all with, also with me this evening is Nana uh, Al Alfabello, who is our engineer of uh, Merrill Engineers and Land Clearance Surveyors. So Jason is, is uh, Dana's here with us as well. Uh, he'll give a brief presentation on uh, on his as well. Uh, so 1247 C Street uh, does consist of approximately a quarter acre. Um, it's about 10,454 square feet lot in a business B zoning district, uh, currently improved by both a two-family residence and a single-family residence sort of to the westerly end of, of, the, of the property. Um, the two-family uh, and the single-family really both front uh, C Street. Um, the single-family is a little bit to the rear of, of the two-family. Um, and this parcel actually uh, is adjacent to Homestead Avenue as well. Uh, on that end is a vacant uh, portion of this of this property. Uh, it's on that vacant parcel that my client is proposing uh, to to uh, well. First, let me get into it. He's, he's subdividing this property into two parcels. Uh, one of these parcels uh, will front C Street, uh, consisting of approximately uh, 6989 square feet, uh, with the existing two-family as well as a single-family residence to remain on that particular lot. Uh, a second parcel, as I indicated, is the vacant portion of this property, um, which fronts uh, Homestead Avenue. Uh, that will consist of uh, 4,180 100, square feet, uh, and this is where the proposed two-family duplex-style residences uh, will be. Uh, each of these residences will contain two bedrooms, uh, two and a half bathrooms as well. Um, it is providing parking for each of these units as well. There'll be a single car garage under each of the units. Uh, a second space will be in, in the driveway, um, uh, exiting onto, uh, onto Homestead Avenue. Uh, the, the relief we are seeking this evening uh, will be variances, minor variances for, um, for the lot size where 5,000 is needed. We get 4,183 and some setback relief as well as being requested you know, for this. Uh, we are requesting a finding as this is a, is a change of the of the, the use and character of the property uh, that it will not be substantially more detrimental you know again as we we're meeting most of the dimensional requirements of the ordinance and we're providing two vehicles per unit as well and not required uh, but jason uh, excuse me dana will speak a little bit we are providing some stormwater retention as well we'll get into those uh, stormwater management on site um, let me first say, um, Mr. Cole, Jason uh, invested um, in this property at 1247 C Street 
uh, over two years ago. He's actually had resi has resided in the single family residences. If you know it, it's really, really small. Um, you know, this is not a developer coming in uh, to make a buck. Um, Jason has been uh, one of the more conscientious clients of mine. Uh, he's actually, you know, met a lot of the neighbors. He has spoken to a lot of the neighbors of what he's proposing here. Uh, he's assessed the entire area as well, Homestead, C Street. Uh, Homestead itself is primarily made up of uh, two family residences on much smaller lots with this one being proposed here today. Uh, I know they're non-conforming, you know, because uh, they were built many years ago, um, but it's important for me to, to point that out to the board uh, that what Jason is proposing here is not that out of the ordinary um, compared to what is at that particular neighborhood. Uh, there's a couple, three families and a four family as well. We have Harvey's Landing as well as right there. Is it a dense area? It certainly is. You know, I think Jason has, has designed something here with the help of his, his architect and his, uh, his engineer uh, to provide a lot of landscaping as well. Um, he's, he's met with neighbors more than many of my clients ever do. You know, he's met with a lot of people on Homestead. He wants to make these, you know, very conscientious, wants to make sure they're, they're supportive and okay with what he's proposing here. Uh, many of them are. Uh, we've submitted letters before this board as well. You have four of them, correct? There should you be more than there, yes. Uh, yeah. That's what you gave me. Yeah. And those are primarily on Homestead, which is where this, uh, this particular say. property is. Yeah. Right. Did you get them? Right. Okay. Yeah. I did receive a, a came back, but you, you get them. Okay, good. Thank you. That's all. Uh, we did, uh, through the assistance of uh, uh, Council McCarthy as well, we tried to have a neighborhood meeting as well. It was very difficult uh, finding a venue to have it. Uh, we were proposing to have it right on Homestead Ave as well. The weather was not that cooperative. You know, so we weren't able to have a, a, a neighborhood meeting to include you know, even more neighbors. But, but again, Jason took it upon himself to, to visit um, and, and speak with many of the neighbors on Homestead and, and C Street as well. Um, if you have no questions for me, I'd like Dana to, to be able to kind of present his uh, you know, drain, drain storm uh, management and, and utilities and things. Okay, thank you. Just gonna flip this over. And um, we'll probably touched on most of the overall site. Address, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 427 Columbia Road in Hanover, Massachusetts. Um, attorney Fleming uh, touched on most of the overall existing site features, but currently, as you mentioned, there's, there's two residential uh, structures on site along C Street. Uh, this new project will re remove some existing pads and concrete blockages uh, to the rear of the property and construct the the new structure with uh, two new uh, townhouse units within it. Uh, the, the stormwater from the, for the new roof area will be directed uh, via a subsurface roof drain uh, collection system into a subsurface Caltech infiltration system to the rear of the uh, proposed structure. Uh, we have made sure that it's going to be 10 feet off of any surrounding um, off-site foundations just to make sure it meets um, the requirements of the, the stormwater management uh, uh, policy for the neighbors. Um, all stormwater from the existing um, houses towards C Street. Currently, the lot is it's very flat, but it's generally sloped, however gently, towards Homestead, Homestead Avenue from C Street. So we kind of maintain that that drainage connection. We'll just be routing the, the stormwater around the, the new structures through some shallow, wide swales uh, to make sure it keeps going in the, the direction that it currently is. Uh, sewer flows from the, the proposed structures have been calculated to be 440 uh, gallons per day. This will be uh, connected from a new uh, sanitary sewer service to the existing six inch clay uh, sewer main within Homestead Avenue. Water, electric, and other utilities will also be connected to the existing utilities within the, the Homestead uh, right of way layout. And um, just one of the things we have received comments from the, the uh, DPW. They seem to be all pretty standard minor comments. Um, the applicant would just request that these can be uh, conditions of approval, hopefully, if, mm -hmm. if that's uh, the way the board Any questions, guys? No. No. 
Council, comments. So thank you. Um, you know, and again, I can't, I can't emphasize enough, you know, Jason, you know, over two and a half years ago made, a, made an investment at 1247 C Street. He lo loves the area. Uh, in the single family they're residing in now, it's very small, you know, and he thought uh, hard uh, about what he'd like to do on this, this vacant parcel uh, to remain in the area, to move, you know, move into another, another unit, getting married next year. They're hoping to have a family as well. So uh, he loves the area, uh, just a, another investment in it. And we feel uh, this proposal would certainly benefit many people. You know, it would certainly you know help tax revenue for the city of Quincy. Having two units will certainly help other properties uh, in increasing their values as well. Um, so we're we're hoping for your consideration here this, uh, this evening. I will hear from the public, but okay. here's my comments. There's there's two houses on this lot of right? Now you're gonna cut that two houses down to fifty five hundred, and then you're gonna sixty nine hundred. Yeah, almost, almost, seven, almost seven thousand. Because of that, and then you're going to have a forty-four hundred foot lot, and, and you keep saying empty lots, not an empty lot. You have a parcel here which you have two homes on. Now you want to put a third there, and you say it's going to help the neighbor. That is the biggest detriment to homestead I've ever seen. That's a dead end street. There's three families, four families. There's, I lived on that street, and I sold that house because it. Street is a horror show. Sometimes I couldn't even get in my driveway. There's people having a party and they pull up and they're four feet over my driveway. So that place is like, this This house don't deserve. That's just my opinion. I'm going to put up front. So no, I'm, one. Just, I'm one. Let me hear from the public. Sure. Thank you, Council. Is there anyone here that wants to speak in favor? I have four letters here that are people in favor that live in the neighborhood somewhere. I know one's right next door, another one's at home. Joseph Fallon, 1243B, C Street, Quincy, Mass. I'm a neighbor of Jason Coles. He's been my neighbor for maybe over a little of the year. During this time, he was preparing his rental properties for tenants. All the work that Jason had done, he seemed to follow along. We got to running tools too early, too late. He always seems to stay busy taking care of his property, explained to me that he would like to build another house on the property. I have no issues with him building this dwelling at his property. I believe that he should be allowed to put up a house if it's zoned for it. That I believe is his right as a landowner. Um, that was 1243B. Um, and this is 1247 C Street. Um, I apologize if I butcher some names. Saqua, Amador, Katarina Guzden, Joseph L. Diaz, and Hannah Fortin. Uh, over the last year we and a half, we've gotten to know Jason and Lara as our landlords and also our neighbors, and we feel lucky to have landlords care about their tenants and take care of their property. Love House Neck, just like they do, and we're excited for them to build their home. We plan, we support their plan to build and ask you to approve it as well. Uh, Ron Crombie, 13 Homestead Ave. I'm writing this letter to show my support for Jason Cohen building his house on Homestead Ave. I live at 13 Homestead Ave. And the property he intends to build won't affect me at all. I find no issues with his plans to build the duplex. This is Gerald and Victoria McGuigan, 1249 C Street. We are tenants at the 1249 C Street and lived here for about a year and a half and we love it here. During this time, Jason and Lara have been wonderful landlords and it's a pleasure to live next door. We fully support them building this house in what is now the backyard of our apartment. They live in the small house at 1251 C Street and we understand they need to upgrade to a larger house as they start a family. But they have reiterated how they don't want to force us to leave and so they can take our apartment. We really appreciate this. They have a great opportunity to build on the land they already own and we fully support it. And then Joseph Fallon, 1243 BC Street. I mean, that's the same one. Yeah, that's the same one. I already read that one, so. Yeah, sorry. I'm losing it already. It's early. Anything from the DPW? Wait till wait wait wait. I got a letter from the DPW. I'd like to read it. Dated June 20, 2023, 1247 C Street. We've reviewed the submittal for the above reference project, and our comments are as follows. One, install a survey monument to delineate the subdivision. The monument shall be set by a professional land surveyor. Two, all subdivision plans shall have been recorded in the Registry of Deeds, Norfolk County. All proposed buildings should have a house. Should have house numbers assigned by the engineering division DPW before any building permit can be issued. Three, prepare maintenance plans for the shared utilities. The maintenance plan shall be recorded in the registry deeds in Norfolk County. Four, install two chambers of Caltech 330XL HD for drainage. 
five upon completion of the project as built plan showing all utilities and building footprints need to be submitted along with the digital file. Okay, we'll go to file here and close. Anyone opposed to rent aside? Step forward, state your name and address for the record, please. Hello. I'm Jess Jordan. I live at 1243 C Street, House C. So Homestead is a dead end, but we're the house that's right there that everybody uses our driveway to walk through. Mm -hmm. um, by that like easement right there. Is that where they put the snow? That's where they put the snow. That's also where the fire hydrant is. Yeah, I know. The um, fire hydrant is there. Yeah. So very much opposed to this. Um, the plans I looked at, it looks like it's going to be like three feet from our window that this building is going to be. I may be wrong with that, yeah. um, but that's what it looks like. It's going to be very close. Homestead is a mess. I mean, the parking there is already crazy. If there's two families, maybe that's why our place. And our house is 800 square feet. It is not that big. This thing's going to be huge next to us. Um, people use that spot for street parking. I have a picture on my phone. I work overnight, so I get to see the street at all times during the day, and it's always a mess. There's always people walking through our little area, and now you're going to add even more people there, which is just not going to be great for the neighborhood. Um, and I'm a little worried about even more congestion, um, you know, how, not how's that, but like Adam Shore area recently had a fire. It freaked me out. I mean, all the houses being so close together. Um, and this thing is going to be super, super close and super huge next to our house. Thank you. Bro, so. can you have for the record, please? David Bontrick, 1247 House C, C Street. 1243, right? What's up? 1243. 1243. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Same one. Yeah. That's all right. Um, my, my issue was the, the over compacted state that the street already is. Right now, you probably have three to four residents that live on the street that have to park over by the PL because there's already no room. And like she said, 308 C Street, they had a fire from Grill, took out that house, three cars, and the neighbor's house. Mm -hmm real close to a fire hydrant. So just having a fire hydrant right in front of the house, I don't think it's gonna do anything to help save my house from going up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. For anyone else, pose around the side. Name and address for the record, step up. If anyone else wants to speak, please line up over here so we can just move along. Hi, thank you for your time. My name is Candace Gillum. I live at Five Homestead. I live in a single family, 516 square feet. <laughs> nice little two-story, but barely. <laughs> um, first of all, the first thing is, this is a C Street address. <laughs> Was that your house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're familiar. It's very well, small. <laughs> yeah. um, I was 19 when I bought this. It's a great house. <laughs> It's hardly changed. Come visit sometime. I do. I see it all the time. I'm down there all the time. Oh, good. Um, so this is a C Street address. Having a driveway come onto Homestead makes no sense. It's, as everyone else has mentioned, it's a very tight street. It's tight for garbage trucks, for delivery trucks, for garbage trucks. It's one way in and one way out. Mm -hmm. And plenty of parking on the sides. There are a couple of um, multifamily, but there's not too many. Most houses, even if they are two family, are occupied by the family. <laughs> um, I just think it's huge. If you look at the roof line of it compared to the other homes around, it's it's towering above. It's three stories, yeah. um, which of course, who doesn't want the views? Everybody yeah. does, but it just doesn't fit the neighborhood. They're asking for a variance in the lot size it's already way too congested. I don't think that that is an appropriate request at this time. Thank you very much. You Thank you. Me. Thank you. How are you doing? My name is Brian Silcox. I live at 12 Homestead Ave in Quincy. Uh, my concerns are, as you heard, 
the parking. I've lived down there my whole life. I'm 58 years old. I've been down there 58 years. The parking sucks. Snow removal, it's nuts. That's my concern. Thank you, Mr. And, yeah. you know, the emergency response, you got the mm -hmm. fire hydrant right there. It's, it, it, it just won't work. We, I've seen fist fights about parking down there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to send my concern about that. Thank, Thank you, you. Good evening. Uh, Mike Daniels, uh, occupant, owner of 20 Homestead, and owner um, of 22 as well. So directly across from uh, the property. Mm -hmm. I won't beat uh, the same drum, right? Parking mm -hmm. is certainly challenging. Um, I do have a tenant at 22 in parks uh, directly in front of his unit. Mm -hmm. He's a, a Quincy police officer who works nights. Mm -hmm. He would be most likely losing his ability to park there if we were able to try and accommodate that second. I know, um, but that's his lot. If he, if he does, he gets the lot of tips. It's, Fair. So it's his entrance if they put a gate there, right? Uh, and, and being at the end of the street, obviously, yeah. uh, during any snowstorm, plows just push the snow yeah. back there. Goes uh, right to the end. And, and there's really nowhere for it to go until it melts. Uh, so even myself is parking down by the PL at that point. Right. Um, so, Thank you very much for your time. Thanks Thank for coming tonight. Is there anyone else? Council. Uh, Dave McCarthy, Ward 1 Councillor, 48 Whitney Road. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not um, thrilled about this one on Homestead Ave. Uh, it's overpopulated uh, right now. Uh, those houses are in tight. Uh, the street hasn't had any good parking ever. Uh, as uh, Mr. Silcox indicated, I, I grew up down there on a hill and was on Homestead Ave with a lot of those guys, and nothing's really changed. Uh, it's a dead end now, um, but um, snow removal would be another impact. If it's an impact now, it'll it'd just be worse. And a lot of people that park down there, um, and I don't blame them, they'll go out towards the PL and... and, and the, the big parking lot and leave their cars at night uh, because it's congested down there. So uh, it's always a pet peeve of me too, that area that's business B. And I kind of went after that a little bit a few years ago and I'm probably going to go after it again to try to try to limit any development that's in that area um, that's going to be of anything that's going to be larger than what's there now. I mean, the folks there now can and add on to their house or or, um, you know, if they were going to knock it down and put it on the same footprint, we'd talk about that, things of that nature. Yep. But uh, that, that's an area there that really should be uh, differently zoned. Uh, Louis are off the hook, and uh, Peggy O Salon and a few of the businesses are out on the corner. But everything else uh, back then now was all residential. Back in the day, as we know, when you know, yeah. Harvey's Wharf was there and et cetera, there were probably all little nooks and crannies of businesses mm -hmm. in Homestead, that whole area. But um, I'm going to try to change that so I can try to deflate anybody who wants to go in there and try to uh, and try to do something like this because I just don't think that that area, bro, there's no uh, there's no open uh, capacity for anything down there now. Thank you, Councilman. Is there anyone else? Last call. Opposed by the side. All the party hearing close. Council, I'm looking at 11,000 something feet that you have two homes on, and I'm going to vote no. Just so you know, it's just it don't make sense down there. It really doesn't. It's the place is packed. The whole the whole is like there's nothing good that could come out of this for, for the people that live there. So uh, you already got two homes on your property on his property and I hope he makes some money and enjoys it, but he know what he bought. Now, to take that and divide that and have a 4,400 4, square foot duplex, three stories high, is gonna help that neighborhood? No. I think the people that live there, their home values are gonna go down, so I'll be going now. I, I understand the uh, willingness to, uh, and appreciate the willingness to come into a neighborhood and want to try and improve it mm -hmm. and put your, put your blood, sweat, and tears into uh, maintaining your current property, which it sounds like he has, uh, by all means, but I just, I, I don't like making lots more non-conforming. I voted against it numerous times, and I think that's making the entire lot more non-conforming by splitting this up, so I'd be no as well. Yeah, you're subdividing a lot. You're leaving a lot that's small. You're putting a huge duplex on it, the size of it. Uh, I mean, if you came in here with a single house on it, we'd probably question the size of it. 
I mean, the end of that street's just untenable, it's difficult. So I, I, I could not vote for this. And I wouldn't be in favor of creating another non conforming line. I'll stick with my board with the same feelings. Mr. Chairman, I would only respectfully request that if we could continue the matter to the 22nd of August uh, so I can have a, a better conversation with my client on uh, what the <coughs> options are here. Uh, I think you did, sir. With, with a potential withdrawal. But, um, I, I think you did, sir. We'll do that for you. I'll do that for you. Thank me. you. But understand, the guy here, the guy here, I wouldn't even go for a single family. Okay. It's just too crowded, and I wouldn't make. You get. You just. It's just not work. It's just don't work down there. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, can I have a motion to extend this till uh, August 22nd, please? Mr. Chairman, uh, ZBA 2346, Jason Cole for a variance and finding to subdivide the lot into two lots and construct the two townhouses with parking under each unit for one vehicle on the premise number 1247 C Street. Quincy, I make a motion to move that in to August 22nd. Second. On the motion, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Both. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you very much. That was only two cases. Yep, we'll be here a while. Norrie, are you glad you left us? <laughs> <laughs> See, she was smart. She got out when she crushed. Further on the time, I'm trying to get this guy uh, <laughs> get to a week. He's going to get to a week, quick. Uh, CBA 2347, Patricia Fisher, for a variant to demolish the existing non-conforming garage and construct a new, wider, and longer garage in the premise of 50 Hover Map Road. Applicant of Representative. I'm trying to get you out of here, Council. Thank you. Name and address for the record. My name is Pat Fisher. I'm with Fisher Associates Architects, 35 Fisher Road in Weymouth, Massachusetts and I represent the owners of 50 Hobbamack Road, mm -hmm. Martin and Catherine Lynch. Right, you uh, tell us what you want to do. Okay, um, the owners currently would like to replace the existing one car, one story garage. It's not existing, is it? It is. I am, I am. I'm surprised the wind didn't take it down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's part of the problem is that yeah, it is. its demolition is going to take about two minutes. Yeah. It's falling over on its own right now, as you can see. Before something gets right. yeah. And also, that's the family car, which yeah. doesn't actually fit inside the yeah. garage. No, that's not a good garage. That's not a So as the garage currently sits mm -hmm. on the property, uh, it's existing, non-conforming. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's only a foot and a half from the rear property line, two and a half feet from the side property line. Uh, the uh, properties in the rear, right here, uh, they have nothing in their backyards. Their houses are up here. This property right here is a double lot, so the house is actually over here on this lot. So uh, there's nothing on this lot but a swimming pool. Uh, so the, the new garage, which we propose to build on the same setback mm -hmm. won't be interfering with any structures uh, close to it at all so what they would like to do is build a new larger garage so mm -hmm. they can put two cars in there mm -hmm. um, the, um, as the garage moves forward it actually kicks away from the property line right. so it becomes less well, it goes like that right yeah it becomes less uh, non-conforming as mm -hmm. it moves forward but it's parallel with the rear property line. Uh, the garage also will be one story. It will be under the maximum height of 16 feet. It will be within the 25% square footage of the existing home. Um, and uh, there's really no other relief that we're re requesting. No, the only thing I, I, I was wondering, why couldn't you move that? Can you move that forward another six inches so to get two feet so they can go around any maintenance to get through there? They, I see a new fence going down the side. Yeah. And I don't know what's behind it. I didn't get behind the garage. I, I didn't it's surrounded by fences. Yeah, it so is. it's all yeah, fencing. Uh, it's all fencing. Is there any chance of moving that just so they can two feet? So whoever, you know, you yeah, sell so a they, house next door or someone else goes, you know, you're not coming on my property to paint or whatever. He's, a, yeah. He's asking if he can move the back of the garage six inches forward. 
Is there a, is there a floor in there? There is now, but it's all gonna get ripped up. Oh, okay. So you can move it six inches up. We can do that. Right. Just to give you a couple feet in the back to get back there. You don't okay, know awesome. what your neighbor's gonna be like in two years, 20 years. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. their fence up there. I don't ever see you. <laughs> <laughs> see, never see you. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that that will still work. That won't uh, change any of the other setbacks or any other problems. But you're okay with the footprint, which is uh, yeah. 20. Yeah. 26 by 22. Yeah. And we'll just shift it and six inches. Yeah, there's cars in there. You can also get a snowball and stuff in front of the back. Right. right. And you can see Any from the. Questions? Just jealousy. Jealousy. <laughs> I, I can do one for you. <laughs> My lot doesn't look like that. <laughs> no question. No. No. Good. Thank you. Anyone want to speak in forward in, uh, in, forward in favor? Forward. First call. Councilor? You still got one more. <laughs> uh, Dave McCarthy, Ward 1, uh, 48 Whitney Road. Uh, I've known the Lynch's for a while. Um, yeah, that the garage definitely needs to be changed out. Uh, and, yeah. and it's a good idea to move it off the fence a little bit, like you said. You know, like we do with some of the other sheds and garages we get through. There's a little access behind it. So I'm in, I'm in full uh, full favor, and uh, I'll keep an eye on uh, Mr. Lynch to make sure he does what he needs to do. Thank you, sir. Is there anything else you want to speak in favor? All part of the hearing calls. I got a letter here from the DPW. They reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? First call. Second call. Third call closed. I'm all set. You vote in favor? You might vote against it just out of jealousy. I'm in favor. Favor. I'm in favor. Yep. Can I have a motion, please? ZBA 2347, Patricia Fisher, for a variance to demolish the existing non-conforming garage and construct a new, wider, longer garage on premise number 50, Habermock Road, Quincy, with an additional six inches off the rear lot line. I make a motion to grant the variance. Second. On the motion. Seeing that, all in favor? All right. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're Washington Street, right, Council? Yes, I do. Thank yeah, I'll see. Thank you. 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 <laughs> just the council is, it has to go to a funeral, so I mean, uh, wait, so I'm trying to get him out of here. So the person that was 198 Main Street will get, will get right to you. Uh, GBA 2347, no. 49. GBA. You want 49, Washington Street. Yeah. ZBA 2349, I got my wrong paper. I wonder why there is one now. Smooth. All right. 49. Danello Lopes for a, Lopez for a variance to install a 20 foot storage container in the parking lot of the property at 338 Washington Street. The African representative here. Hey, Doug, you're in there, Are Name you guys doing today? The record? My name is Danello Lopes. I'm the owner of Nilo's Market at 338 Washington Street. Yeah. And um, we're just requesting to install a brand new um, shipping container, storage unit, like a pod yep. in a parking lot. We're a bit, uh, family owned business. We've been in business for three years now. And um, mm -hmm. we're running out of storage for like paper bags, napkins. That's what we're trying to use the pod for. And um, we sent out the budget list. We talked to the landlord and talked to a couple of people around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They seem to be fine with it. What color is it going to be? It's going to be um, white. <laughs> the things he cares about. Things he cares about. <laughs> I don't want to go by and see a big giant, like, green one. Yellow one or something. You know what I mean? It's just like, whoa. Uh, I have no questions. Anyone have any questions? I don't have any at this time. No questions. No questions. Good. Just one parking space taken out? Just one parking okay. space. Yeah. You can have a seat. Is there anyone want to speak in favor? First call? Second call? Third call closed? I got a letter here from the DPW. They reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? Councilor, you're up and you're out of here. Not opposed, but I got a question. All right. David Cathy, 48 Whitney Road, World One Councilor. Is there a container in that lot now? No. 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 
No, that's an old Google shot yes. that we saw. Yeah. I took a walk down, I was looking around. Where is it? Where is it? You know what I mean? It could be camouflaged. I don't know, you know? That's my only question. Right. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Anyone else? Polls are undecided? Third call? Call the final call. I'll be voting in favor. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. Likewise. Motion. Mr. Chairman, ZBA 2349, Danilo Lopes for a variance to install a new 20 foot storage container in the parking lot of the property of the premise number 338 Washington Street, Quincy, to make a motion to grant the variance. Second. On the motion, stand on. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you. Council, have a good night. I know you're on your way. You're busy. Watch you later. Thank you. Further on to tonight's agenda, we'll go back to old business, ZBA 23-3. This is when you got to see it for variance to remove the existing decks on the rear of the home and construct a new two-story addition on premise number 198 Main Street. The applicant and their representative here. Hello, good evening, members of the jury. My name is Cecilia Garcia. Um, can you speak up a little so he, you can hear when we get on tape? Yes, going, good afternoon, members of the jury and the rest of the crew. Um, my name is Isla Garcia. Like mentioned on my previous hearing, my home is a family home. My mother lives on the first floor. I live on the second floor. My request of adding an extra bedroom in each unit is since my family is growing, I'm in need of more space for privacy and comfort for both my kids and my foster kids. I'm a foster mother since 2018, and due to space, I have been limited to, provide, um, limited to providing care for those children in need. Um, my project right now is estimated to take place to last from six to eight weeks. Say that again. It's, um, my project is estimated to last from six weeks to eight weeks. Okay. Any that questions? It? Yes. Do I do, I do. You have one parking space, correct? I added one more. And you have two on, on the street, you, you yes. parked two cars? Yeah. Did you say you added them? You added I them added one more parking plans? space, yes. So you have two parking spaces? Yes. All right. So how it's good, you get two and blood down. But the other cars are going to be parking on the street. Um, there's no more parts. It's only there's two, two cars, cars in front of your house every day. Go by there, there's two cars. Uh, that's one, one, one of those cars, my, the one in my driver, it's not working, so it's going to be removed, and my car is going to be parked there, so the second car will be parked on the, um, on the second right. space. But you want to add on to a house that's pretty big, to have decks, and you only get two parking spaces. I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of the next person that moves in there is going to have the same size house and bedrooms and everything. And, no way to park these kids. No way to park them. You get kids 15, 17, and 18, they all got cars. And that is a tough county. So I have a big concern, just so you know. It's like, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to put in a bigger house when that house is really big as it is. It's a big house. You have a big home. And I know you have foster children and all that, and you want to increase it, but I just think it's too much for that neighborhood in that corner. That's just, any questions? Did we did we ask her to add one space? She, she did. Yeah, she before? did. She had that's what space. I'm saying. We 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 asked her to do that, and she did it. Right, one space. We got two spaces. I didn't realize how bad it was, so I kept going by there and watching. It's just cars parked there all the time. It's not her. I'm worried about. Oh no, I understand. I'm just, worried about the size of the house for the next owner. It's going to be huge. There's going to be a lot of bedrooms when I don't think, you know, it's a corner house. I mean, if she could make two more parking spaces in there, probably I would. If you could do something like that. It's just, I didn't realize how bad it was, so I stayed over there. I went over there three days in a row to watch what's going on over there in that corner. What's the manager? Where's the front page? Yeah, they are right side and rear setback. Right. right side. Yeah. That block come all that other block comes all the way over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Side right, you get one and a half feet. You get eight feet. Oh, but that's only from like the very rear, right? It's not yeah. the whole lot. It's, no. No. You, that, it's you like the, the neighbor rear on the, the back. Front, it's fine. You know, it's only two feet off, a foot and a half on the rear, no big deal. You're four feet off the front, which is always the same. That's the way it is. 
you know, they're going to take the side left, they're taking three feet out of it, three, almost four feet out of it. It's 11 8 now. Side right, you're going seven more feet. You know what I mean? So it's oh. just, I just think it's, that's just me. The, 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 we're all right with the building? The no. Building? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not with the added space in the back. How much? How much because there's only two room? parking spaces now. I mean, if you get four parking spaces there for the size of the house, it's a huge house. That's oh, no, I know. It's big now. Yeah. It's going to be real big afterwards, and it's a brutal corner. It's so whoever big. moves in there after them, you know, cars on the street. No, I, I agree. Yeah. I just, yeah. I, 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 I'm just thinking that way. That's all I'm thinking about. The next person, not her. You know, I don't think about the people who live there because they're honest and they tell us the truth what they're using the house for. But what happens when they move? No, yeah. no, I agree. They get called this. away and they just sell the house. I mean, is there a way to get? I don't even know if you can get them in. I mean, like you have that. Where did where did you put the additional spot right now? Yeah. Did you have a plan for it? Yes. Was. So you yeah. put it to the right. Yeah. 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 There's one there now. Just putting one more on the right. But it's like no way to get back here. I mean, technically. When, you, once you put that on there, the are you leveling? Are you leveling back. anything about like the down to the to the? Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Hector Prieto. Um, I'm, I was the architectural designer for the project. Okay. Did you come in late? I, no, I wasn't here for the last meeting, okay. but I was here the whole time. Uh, you took the oath? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. Um, but we just put the parking space to the right, uh, closer to the sidewalk, to not, to not be able to take out. If we put it on the other side, it'll take out uh, parking yeah. in the front, and okay. then in between the two driveways, you know, you'll probably look at like eight feet, so yeah. you, you obviously wouldn't fit a car there. So that's why we just shifted to the right um, to keep it closer towards the crosswalk that's there. Just trying to figure out. I mean, in, in can you essence, get another space back there? How, what do yeah, we have? Well, in essence, we, that's what I'm even saying. Tandem. Like, I don't even care tandem, if they're tandem. They put it, one in front. Um, no, put, you got one there, put one to the right, and then tandem one in the middle somehow to get in there, get in and out on the right. Yeah, I mean, it takes away green space, but like you could. But you got a parking space. But you got a parking you space. Three parking spaces off that corner. That's a brutal corner. I'm telling you. you can imagine a night what it's like. Yeah, we, we can look into that. Yeah, we can make that adjustment. Yeah, that's tough. Is there room coming, coming into South Street there? Yeah, you're yeah. coming around South Street and people, you know, all of a sudden there's guys in front of you. I believe there is room. Yes. Uh, it looks like. Check, I mean, just I think looking at the lot, like back. you can I, even. I, I mean, you could probably even go just to the right of. You'd be cutting out more of that corner. Oh, I'm sorry, you're cutting right to the right of it is the crosswalk. Yeah. Mm. Nice try, Damn crosswalk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my only. Like other right here, so. so like, Where's the crosswalk? So it must be right here. To the right of the second lot. Second. So he's putting, the right spot, he's putting an second. additional it's spot right, right there. Yeah, exactly. But I was saying you could probably even fit one just to the right of it. But you he says there's a crosswalk. You in, yeah, you could go in tandem. You could right. definitely go in tandem. Right. And if you go to the left, you'll be taking out a speed bar. Which, so, yeah, which is no reason no, to that's, that. That's just, that doesn't yeah. help any decision. Especially help because of the, the way you're talking like that corner where people just fly right onto that. Could you go back and, and have a tandem? Well, that's you could, yeah. Right. If you go that's tandem right in, you should pick another piece up there. Yeah, because that's, you know, you you can do that. Parking space number two. Yeah. I mean, it, like you said, you're not going to use it now, but it, it's, it's more It's more for, yeah, be you understand what we're saying? Like, yeah, yeah. at some point you might outgrow this house, or at some point, hopefully, you know, you do, and you want to go somewhere else, you know, in, in Quincy. Uh, but, <laughs> there's a big house that's going to be built down on Furnace Brook if you need it. Um, but, you know, like, there's, there's, uh, it's just for, the, for that next person, you know, so that we make sure, because yeah, the house is going to be, Big. Big, big, big. You can make three out of that? Guaranteed. I right? believe so, I think, yes. I think yeah. plenty wrong. All right, why don't you bring us back a set of plans and then we'll see you next week and it'll be for two weeks. Uh, 25th? 25th. What's the, uh, what's the square footage of the addition? Of the addition, it is, um, well, it's two right. levels. So it's going to be 16 by 20, almost 22 feet. Yeah. So right now, there's so it's another four, Yeah, it's another 450 
Right. There, there's an existing deck there now, so we're just staying within that same. Okay. Yeah, he's taking the deck out and, and putting it in this yeah, so. The house is big already, too. It's a big house. Uh, it's so you, can, can we just get another? Yeah. Can we get another set of plans? Can you do that? No can you just show us where that parking spot is? Like, All we need to do is just, just have her email it into the to the clerk, just showing us that parking spot. It'll be quicker. You know, You'll be in and out of here in the 20 And we'll make sure you're first. <laughs> okay. oh, I, can't, I can't say that because another council might have to get to it. You know, It'll take me two seconds. We can <laughs> tell McCarthy. Stop that when the neighbors die. Yeah. Just, just for the record, they've taken care of the uh, right rear corner where it was right yeah. up against the water. Right. So as long as that continues to yeah, smoke, we'll that over. Yeah, yeah, we'll that'll be helpful. Yeah, we can shift it over. Yeah. All right, there's another pocket space down in motion for a 25th, and then, uh, well, let me, let me, let me hear from the people. That way they don't have to come back. You can have a seat. Thank you. Does anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call, third call, calls? No comment. Then a lot of here from the DPW, they review the bug reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? First call, second call, third call. Okay, can I have a motion for a 25th, please? ZBA 23-3, Islam Garcia, for a variance to remove the existing decks on the rear of the home and construct a new two-story addition on the premise number 198 Main Street, Quincy. Make a motion to move it to uh, July 25th. Second. On the motion. Seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Oh, we'll see the 25th. Get the plans in like a week. Get them to the court. And then she can email them to us or what happened before the meeting. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Further on tonight's... We're down to uh, 48. 48, right? GBA 2348, 44 St. Anne's Road. Help me with this, Mr. Chen. Shelvin Wu. Shelvin Wu. Wu for finding. To change the business use from an online retail business to a retail convenience store in front of 45 St. Anne's Road. 44. 44, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Name and address for a record? Uh, I'm saying your name and address. Okay, my name is Shelby Wu. Okay, yeah, looking um, the, the address uh, is 44 St. Anne's Road. Yeah, uh, the fact it is actually is, um, you know, I'm the render of a uh, 42 St. Anne's Road. So you're going to be in the left side, left side. Yeah. Is that where the convenience store is going to be in 42? Yeah, 42. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 42 and 44 and 46 is the all by uh, one owner. owner. Right. Yeah, the 44 is the second floor, is mm -hmm. the residential, mm -hmm. and 42 and 46 is the first floor for right. the commercial. Yeah. I, I rent that property for more than like uh, 14 or 15 years already. Yeah, before it's an online store, I saw it, you know, basically online. Yeah, but you know, the business is getting worse and worse, especially after COVID. Mm -hmm. I have to shut it down. So I'm not looking for to open a, um, a retail convenience store. Yeah, just uh, you know, that's why my purpose. Not a retail? Retail. Oh, you want to open the retail? Yes. Okay, okay, yes. I thought you said you didn't want to. Yeah. That's why we're here, okay. Yeah. And the retail is uh, only for a uh, convenience store, like uh, only a snack and beverage, uh, no alcohol, no, no, no tobacco. Uh, tobacco. Just any, any any products with nicotine at all? No, just a snack, snack and drink. Uh, snack? Snack, yeah. Snack, okay. Is it milk? Anything like that? You know, mm, maybe no milk. So just, just, just is this uh, for the kids at the school? Yeah. Exactly. Take advantage. The captain's audience. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe. He's running up and down the street. Yeah. Because it's a, the, the area is a, a quite isolated, so I don't look for the you know other kinds of customers, only for kids. Yeah, the next convenience store is the next corner around the corner, which if yeah. everyone walks that way, right? Yeah. If they don't, they come this way, right? Except they'll get them coming out of the tunnel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Any questions? One question. Yep. Any Keep watery in. keynote? No. Okay, no, no lottery, okay. Snacks and drinks. Yeah, snacks and drinks only. Like Will you apply there. for lottery and keno afterwards? Say again? Will you apply for a lottery? No, 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 no. No one will go there for the keno, you know. It's so isolated. Well, I don't know, you're right, but 
people like to hang around and play Keno, <laughs> drink no. snacks, and eat snacks and drink. No, so no it, I, I, I won't do that. No cannabis. You're gonna right. <laughs> <laughs> cannabis oil. <only. laughs> you didn't ask him that, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have a seat. Does anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call, third call. Uh, I'll call that part of the hearing close. I have a letter here from the DPW that they've looked at the project, they have no comments. Uh, is that an opposition letter? This is um, two opposition letters and a brief concern from the Ward Council. Oh, okay. We'll ask after the people speak. Is there anyone who wants to speak in favor? I mean, uh, opposed or undecided? Opposed or undecided? First call, second call, third call. Why don't you read those letters into the record first? Just names and address, and they're not in favor, I guess. You don't have to read the whole thing, just their address. No, this one doesn't have one. It's no good. No Sorry. address, no good. Emails. Yeah, I know, but people don't put their address in. Know, Ryan Connolly, 45 Oval Road, Unit 34. I'm writing you in response to the letter I received regarding the property of 44 St. Anne's Road. I'm a resident of 45 Oval Road, and my unit is directly behind the structure. I strongly reject the change in zoning ordinance from an online retail business to a retail convenience store. I will first mention that there was previously a martial arts studio in that dwelling that was extremely loud and disruptive to the neighborhood with constant martial arts performances out in the back parking lot on the property, playing the loud drums and music, so I do not believe there was an online retail business on the premise. Secondly, they have been doing overnight reservations okay. to the property the past few months, which has violated the Quincy Noise Ordinance. These renovations typically are from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. I also believe they have been doing renovations overnight and not in the daytime to conceal the property changes. Thirdly, with Central Middle School on the same street, they would bring loitering school children to hang around the store after school hours. I work from home and do not want the noise or problems that having a convenience store within 100 feet of me will bring. Finally, this will cause more traffic to the area at school, pick up and drop off. The parents use our parking lot at 45 Over Road as a cut through to get to St. Anne's Road and the school, adding a store that would only cause more traffic and potentially dangerous conditions for both cars and pedestrians because the turn into St. Anne's is difficult to navigate with poor visibility into the turn. For those reasons I stated, I am against the changes. This is from the City Councilor, Chuck Stanley, Ward 5 City Councilor. The board should note that this location is directly across from Central Middle School and the new DeCristofaro Learning Center that is anticipated to be opening September 24th. Also during the school year, St. Anne's Road is closed both in the morning and afternoon for school traffic. It's not closed. Thank you. So it's just a one way. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know. Does, does, does the place need a, just snacks and drinks in the area? And you get a cup of milk or nothing, you know, cereal or anything like that? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of an odd structure, so it's. It is a lot. It's really weird, you know. A weird building. We, we, we put a lot of something in there before. There's a church in there. In that in that building, isn't there? Is there a church? In, is, is, is that, or is the church next door? Is there a church? Yeah, yeah, next door, right? Yeah, next door. Yeah, church. But I thought I thought we permitted something in there. For um, years ago. I remember, but I think it was the house, wasn't there? A house at the end they they built. Or no, it was that was specifically this building because when I went and looked at it, I remembered it because it I remember going place. back because of the parking. Whatever we mm -hmm. whatever we permitted in there, we want to make sure they have the parking. I can't recall what it was though, but obviously it's gone now. I mean, right. Uh, Big building up front. I just don't. Know, I, I I don't know if it's needed. I don't even know if it's. But it's up to him, I guess. And there's kids running up and down the street too. How many parking spots here? Two. You park in one of those spots? Yeah, just one. Just 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 one car. Just the only time that stage parked on is dismissal. Yeah, you know I mean, I've been, I've been it's, it's all one way from an island. It is crossing right. guides everywhere. Now. But there's also to the point there is who knows what the traffic's going to look like with the new to Christopher Learning Center. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, that's still a year away from opening. So right. Mm -hmm. That's a big, 
You have no idea what kind of what's that going to do to. I mean, traffic's already. I draw my kids off. Any comments on this at all? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to nope. do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to buy a school like that. Right there. On the other side. If it's on the same side of the street, probably yeah. The other side of the street kids running across and they're not paying attention. I don't know. I know everyone's watching because it is I know all these kids. Everyone knows these kids. Well it's gonna be up on the second floor. These are two-story units, right? The second floor unit? Yeah, second do you, do you rate both floor. floors? Or is oh, it broken up? Floor. The second floor is a residential. That's 44. Right. Yeah. 44 is a residential. Yeah. 44 is a residential. 44 That's the absolute. One unit up there. How big is the store? How big is your... What's the square foot? Around 80 or 90. No, sorry. 800? 800 to 90. Yeah, Old fashioned. Old fashioned. What what's the floor plan? So you got no, the convenience no, no, no. store. Yeah, I know, I know, but I see it all. Uh ladies come in, all right. Oh. Uh, any ideas guys? Yeah, I'd feel I better. Down there in years, like, I'd feel better if day. I knew what, what, what the traffic was going to be in the situation after that center opens up. Yeah. No? I, I mean, I've spent the last five years on that, in that block. Yeah. And, and between 3.30 and, and or 8.30. Right. I, I mean, there's traffic everywhere. It's a disaster. Who knows what it's going to look like once that goes to work. I do think there's probably like a little bit of a, a, a need for something else, you know, yeah. in terms of a retail store, so I'm not necessarily against it. I just think it's going to be, you know, it's like every one of those is challenges. People are going to buy. People are going to take up other people's spot. Well, I, I, I'm not worried about that because I think 99 percent of the business is going to be kids, right? They're not going. Yeah. To, no adults going to stop being around. Teachers, so about Teachers eat and drink. Most kids, kids are drink. drunk. Most kids that go to there are dropped off and picked up. I know. Picked up. The other, the, other, the most of the time you see the walkers coming the other way on camp. Underneath, right. And then the kids coming out the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's an odd location. I think it's going to look odd. Yeah. It's not a standalone building. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think it'll increase traffic. It just wants the kids going there. No, I don't think it'll increase traffic at all. No. It's just an odd place. No, I just think it's an odd place. It's a weird place for convenience for Yeah, it's kind of weird. But that's. All right. I'll, I'll vote in favor of it. I just don't think it'll be successful. I don't need it. That's why I'm voting no. I just don't think it's. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm, I'm not in favor. Huh? I'm not in favor. Am I really? That ends it, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, anything else? You have two people up here that don't want it. Don't One. Like it. I don't know. The other two, I don't know. So you don't have it. So you got. You can either have us vote and vote it down. Or we'll let you withdraw and then come back when the new place is open and, and we'll take a look at it. When the new building is open. And we'll put that in the record. Okay, so. Okay. We'll uh, grab a motion to withdraw, but he can come back when the new building learning center is open and then we can take a look at it again if he, if he wants to reapply. ZBA 2348 job in rule for a finding to change the business use from an online retail business to a retail convenience store on the premise number 44 St. Andrew of Quincy. Make a motion of withdrawal without prejudice. Second. And he can come back within uh, the opening of the new building because usually if we say no, he's got to wait two years. Okay. And he All right. Allowed to return once the uh, once the, the Christopher Learning Center is open. Right. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. Opposed? Okay, um, we draw without prejudice, so there's no vote. We're just letting you, and when they, when the learning center is open, and we see what's going on in that corner, to be here, you can come back and apply. Yeah, should I go through apply again, or you yeah. guys? Yeah. It'll be a new holding case. Okay. It'll be a holding case. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Further on to tonight's agenda. Patrick Foley from Marion's and Finding to construct a third story 
to the existing dwelling with a water side balcony, 25 Bayside Road. Too tall. Okay. Here up. <laughs> yeah, right here. Brad Pierce, Pierce Home Design, 19 Green Street. Yeah, you too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm bringing the tripod tonight, so. That's all right. This is all right. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the board. My name is Patrick Foley, and I'm the attorney representing 25 Bayside Road um, in the residential A zoning district of the city. Um, what we're proposing to do tonight, join here with Brad Pierce, who's the architect of the project. Um, 25 Bayside Road is an owner occupied two bedroom single family home. Um, like I mentioned previously, it's the residential A zoning district. The applicant resides here with his wife and his children. Um, applicant is seeking to add a story, which will include a home office, a living room, and a balcony, like previously mentioned. Um, part of the reason for this is the applicant is working 100% now remote, um, so he needs the extra space upstairs. Um, this type of project has been done multiple times in this neighborhood over the last couple of years. Um, applicant has spoken with his neighbors about it. Um, he gets along with many of them, and they seem uh, pretty excited. Uh, for him to do what everyone else in the same board seems to be doing. I'm going to have Brad just go over the drawers a little bit. Yep, sure. Uh, so 25 Bayside Road, uh, 1,755 square foot existing structure, 20 feet wide, uh, occupies the majority of the site. Uh, the property is uh, just over 3,700 square feet. Um, the Proposal is to add a third story, comprises 643 square feet. Uh, again, it's going to be two offices and a bonus room um, on the third level. With the 10 by 20 deck, um, there's plenty of precedent for um, this addition in the neighborhood. Um, the, the, the existing roof will be removed. The new roof will be four feet, eight, eight inches taller in the existing home, uh, but the facade on Bayside Road will be reduced in size uh, just by nature of having the, the third story balcony. Um, other than that, the other, there's no well, lateral. Bayside, you're still going to see the third floor. Yes, but it's set back 10 feet. And so, so it's a... I'm sorry? Go ahead. Yep. So uh, the other, the only other improvements are exterior improvements, including siding, windows, roof, um, and interior renovations. There's no lateral additions proposed uh, other than main uh, landing into the main entry and a small three by just under eight foot deck uh, on the back. More, more, um, more defined as a landing, landing to get up into the kitchen space. <coughs> So you got a 2,400 square foot house. No. Yes. Right? When we're done. Yep. On 3,100 square feet. What about the people in Bath? Have you talked to them yet? Yeah, yeah. We talked to all of his neighbors. You told. I know. What did the guy behind him say about losing a few? Uh, I don't believe you do lose a few. Everything's blowing. He's four and a half feet high. Yeah. Oh, it's up the street. <laughs> it's up the street. He's not here tonight, are you? Huh? He's not here, he didn't write a letter. No, that, that doesn't mean nothing. Maybe he just talked to his friend, he don't want to hurt his family. Wow. A lot of people do that. They just you call him, bitch at us. It's fine. Uh, huh? Okay. Yeah. Have you stopped talking to the people? Uh, we have spoken to the neighbor uh, directly behind us. It's name and address, please. Excuse me. I'm sorry. My name is Valerie Cullen. I'm by Bayside Road. I'm the owner of the property yep. with my husband. Uh, my husband has spoken to the owner of the property directly behind us mm -hmm. on Walnut Street. It's a lady. Her name is Diana. I'm not sure yeah. her second name. And she seemed um, very enthusiastic and pleased for right. the proposed plans. Right. How many parking spaces are on that property? Right uh, it's a driveway with two squats, right? Valerie, uh, is there a driveway that you actually use? There is a driveway to the side of the house adjacent to our neighbors Neighbor. on Bayside. And it's I mean, you can squeeze two in really tight. Um, yes, two it's like spots. Yeah, it's corner lot. Yep. Very narrow. 
You know, that's uh, what I'm saying. You got a corner lot, real narrow, you got one space to park. Did you ever look at putting parking behind you on Monmouth? I know there's no curb cut there, but did you ever look right on the Monmouth side of any parking there? We, we and our neighbors do park along the side. No, you park on the street, right? Right. On the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, did you ever put? Did you ever look into putting any parking there? No, our backyard is extremely small. Yeah, I know. It's tiny. Yeah. I know the lot well. I'm, I'm around the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have, I have no questions. Any questions? Yeah, it's only going from, going from 29 to 33, so it's not a huge increase. The question on this drawing, it looks like the corner of the building is on a over the lot plane. Yeah, that's, uh, do a that's the town assessor's map, um, so we don't have a survey. We're not, we're not expecting to extending the footprint spiral in any way. Um, You're staying on the footprint, the footprint's already yeah. on the lot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any question. Yeah, I'm good other than concerned about the back. I know they all park Bay in the sides. street down there, and they all park everywhere, but, you know, Huh? I don't like you. <laughs> no, they, yeah. Well, I know. It's not my own. There's never been any parking on, on like did people just have parked on the front of the day. It's Bayside's private. That's a uh, private way maintained by the city. Yeah, right. But I mean, it's it's labeled as private. It's labeled, it's labeled yeah, as private, but it's maintained by the city. They get down there and they plow and they do all of it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I, know. I know, and that's that's it's a nice of Yeah. No questions? No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. You can have a seat. Thank you. Is there anyone who wants to speak in favor? First call. Second call. Third call. I'll have Tyler Gaming's call. Are you here for Bayside Road? Yes. I don't know. They probably are. <laughs> Are you here for Bayside? Yes, we arrived late and I apologize. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I just don't know. You want to speak in favor? Uh, I have some questions. Okay, so you can come right after, right after, we'll let you speak. Right. you have anything from the DPW? No comment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Busy week. You're good, Larry. Busy thank week. You, thank <laughs> you very much. Don't let it hit the DPW, they reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? You want to step up, state your name and address for the record, and then we'll see what you got for questions. You might want to swear in, Russell. Sure. Oh, yeah. We're sorry, Mr. Hedgerman. Sorry, Mr. Hedgerman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the matter now in hearing. I do. Thank and do you know how that came into being? <laughs> what came into being? <laughs> the oath. No one ever asked me that question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what lesson is Go ahead. The lesson is, I used to sit in your seats, mm. and we had uh, an applicant who lied uh, on I'm an sorry. application. So that's Maureen, Ms. Remus? Uh, yes. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of Maureen's around. <laughs> I see your name in a lot of decisions. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, for the record, my name is Maureen Mesrimus. I live at 49 Bayberry Road. I am an abutter to the an abutter. And my question was, is this going to be a legitimate three-story or is it a two and a half? Three-story. It is a three-story. And is is it going to have an attic above the three-story? Could I could I see the yeah, picture? Yeah. Well, <laughs> no. It's gonna be like nothing that you can get up there. It's gonna be like yeah. a crawl space. Three feet up there. If that, yeah. Not the peak. They got a slanted roof with uh, just a crawl space to get up there. Just seems. Um, I think I heard you talking about parking when we first came in, and the parking is dreadful. Mm -hmm. So, what is the purpose of the addition? They, they have a business, they work at home. I don't know if they have a business, but they both work at home and they want to put two offices upstairs. And it's a residence A. Residence A, two and a half stories. 
and you can't have a business in residence A. No, they so both work at home. Like I said, they both work office. at home, home office, but I don't know if they're, if they're business or not. They said they work at home. I was quoted. I, I misquoted that. Is that their business address? I have no idea. I didn't, I didn't ask no one if they just said they worked at home. They said they worked from home. I will find out. They work from home. Work from home. No, they business out of home. Work they don't? From, work from home, yes. Okay. So they have a business someplace else. No, they don't. No, no, no. Everybody, everybody works from home these days. <laughs> <laughs> everybody works from home. They work remotely. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I, I thought you were saying. If I they really want two rooms up there to have offices. That could be two bedrooms when they. What sort of a business? Oh, I, don't. I mean, oh, it's not oh, my business. so you're not going to have any. No, no, they work from home. No, they work from so, home. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, so there, there won't be people coming no. back. No, 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 because no, no, no. the parking is the structure, right? It's it absolutely right. Okay. And so. anyone has a party or something? You know, I'm trying to get them to get some parking on that property. Yeah. I mean, be. really, you're going up to the third story, which I don't like. No. First of all, it's, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong, so and it sets a precedent. Them. And that's not what he bought. He bought a two and a half story home. Exactly. I know. And, uh, and uh, I spoke with the neighbor who was the direct butter, yeah. who's the little teeny tiny house. Mm -hmm. And you know, you just wonder what it's going to do to the, you know, the light and ventilation when you go up that high. And I don't know if it would the cast a shadow. Effect, really, he'll be east and west, so it's not kind of the shadow. He's yeah, because it'll. Yeah, because it is an well, east and west. might have a little bit. Yeah. I don't think there'd be much shading at all. So I guess uh, I'm Anne, here. Please have a seat. I am pretty much just coming to find out mm -hmm. what's going on. Right. Because nobody came and right. talked to opinion? the neighbors. <laughs> an opinion? You have an opinion? Because you said you didn't know if you're far or against. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't like the idea of the three story. I think it sets a dangerous precedent. And I know, I, I know like people put dumbers on and stuff like that and try to... And it is a variance. You're, right. They're asking for a variance. Exactly. And as I recall, variance is supposed to be given sparingly, if at all, yep. and require a hardship hardship in land, in soil shape or topography. Right. Is there a hardship? I don't see any here, but they, they could use it because the land goes up. I know what they're talking about. Yeah. They get a small lot, non farming, 3,100 square feet lot. Right. Now they want to put a picture in. Right. I, I, I guess I guess you could record me as being in opposition. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anyone else? Opposed or undecided? Second call? Third call? Comments? I have my comment. I, I mean, I know what they bought. They want third floor. I don't think it's fair to the people behind them. I don't care if even the neighbor says do it. It's the next person. I, I just don't think it's... If you had to put a third story up front, if they wanted a Dahmer or something and do a little bit on one side, try to help them, but a full third floor up there, you know, half a third floor and then a big giant deck. I don't know, you could have a walk-up deck anywhere. If you take that off and put a walk-up deck, you can have a walk-up deck. But, you know, it's a pretty decent-sized house the way it is, and it's in a 3,100-square-foot lot. It doesn't have any parking, so I wouldn't be in favor of adding more space to that home. My comments. I, I think it's no. uh, I think it's super modest for what they're trying to do. I don't. Yep. I don't. I don't. Uh, I've lived in the area my entire life. Mm -hmm. I think the impact will be absolutely negligible, if anything. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to add any parking issues. I don't think it's going to add any future parking issues. I would like to see some parking, you know, off the street. There's plenty of, of homes that are higher than this that mm -hmm. we've considered half a story right. that are not this height that it, I mean, that's just my own opinion. So no, I know. It's, it's, I'm it's, in favor. To me, it's just more than half story. There's a lot of houses around this that are substantially larger. Oh, no question. Yeah. I, I, no question. And, and, and some of them we've approved. Yes. No question. So. Yes. No question. They got bigger lots. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing them taking up a little piece of that backyard with some pavers. Right. Pop another car on it. But you know, I think I never do it. You know, are they going to put the car back there? That's Probably be, not. Probably not. So, <laughs> if somebody's back yet, yeah, they're never going to do it. Probably not. I, I don't really have a problem with this. Right. Yeah, I, I would really like to see a parking space in the back um, as an accommodation. Because when they do leave this house, those two rooms upstairs could be used for our bedrooms. Um, then you have quite a number of bedrooms and not enough parking. 
think it's a nice looking drawing. Um, I think it, it adds to the neighborhood. The look is nice. I, I like how it looks when it's uh, designed. I would also be uh, in favor of doing shed donors on the existing uh, instead of going up and down the floor. So <laughs> I guess I'm, mm -hmm. I'm undecided at this point. No, I don't mind that. I don't mind shed donors. Well, we think it's going to look nice at all. It'll look nice with a half, but then if it'll it's... Look, that's going to look much nicer than... than oh, no question. Yeah. No question. Yeah, no I don't question. think it's, it's And it's not... It, I don't I think... I mean, so yeah, you make an apple and we'll use that. So I'm saying, I, I understand. And, and I'm just saying, the word third floor. I get it. I get it. But that's go, all I'm I mean, saying. There, there's so plenty of them that, that are down there. There's plenty some of them are worse. I've seen them There's plenty of existing third floors down there. No question. And I think that they're everywhere. There's a river. I a understand that. Across the street, right? It's open. It's open. Yeah. It's open parking so, down there. But the thing well, is, there's a lot of parking like, in summertime on the street. But I mean, there's a park for it's, green space across. The yeah, street. it's only two yeah. feet. Yeah, yeah. 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 ten feet, fifteen feet maybe at max. Yeah. You know, oh, it's not like. So I mean, taking not, taking not green space out of the back, yeah, it wouldn't be the worst. No, I get yeah. that. No. no, if we can get another parking space or two in the back. Yeah, plus you pick it up two hundred square feet of. Floor deck. Right. Leave a little uh, backyard for that. Yeah. Curb, Side down off the bottom. Curb, curb, right. parking spot. I could go for that. Uh, anyway. Give Five. and take. What take. Uh, do you think, Mr. I'm, 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 compared to what's down there, I don't see it as sticking out like some of these things that we're No, not about. at all. I think it looks beautiful. Yeah. But I'd like to get some parking out there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, it, you get a storm or something down there, everyone goes. You just you gotta get your cars off the road so you clean this place. Yeah. You can squeeze the parking place up there and don't want to get it done. We can get a curb cut. I ain't worried yeah. about a curb cut. I'll talk to you, Brian. Excuse me, Brian? No, we're not going to do that. There's a, there's a beautiful, very old pear tree in the corner of the backyard. So mm -hmm. back left or right? That depends what way you're looking at. If I'm coming down the house. If you're, if you're facing up the hill, Street, it's on the right hand side, so it's basically on the side of the property. Is there a tree hut there? Corner. Did I see a tree hut there? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. I found it. Yeah. Right. Yes. Is so, that on the pear so, tree? Pardon? Is that on the pear tree? Correct. Okay. So putting a parking space in there would destroy that tree um, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 One of the pictures shows a trail on the front and the left hand side. Yeah, that's never moved. But I'm just saying, they can fit a trail and they can fit a car in there. Well, they fit a car in there. They fit a car in there. Yeah. I mean, you do fit a car. We're just trying there. to fit two. I'm trying to fit a couple cars so they have two trail spots. Cars. I mean, a lot of people park across the street. I don't know if they, they do. Use it. I know they do. You know. So. There, there is enough space on the side of the house for two parking spots. Yeah. Yeah. When it snows, if you could put, if you, yeah. 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 And we take our, our, we have two cars. We're a two-car family. We take our cars off the street during any snow emergency. And I'm just thinking there's going to be two more bedrooms up there when we sell that house. That's all I'm saying. I'm looking for another parking space, real parking space. All right. Make a motion if you want. Just vote. ZBA 2350, Patrick Foley for a variance in finding to construct a third story of the existing dwelling with a waterside balcony on the premise number 25 Bayside Road, Quincy. I make a motion to grant the variance in finding. Second. On the motion? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. I'm opposed. Aye. Three, two. Doesn't pass. Pear tree is more important, I guess. Yeah. Further on the tonight. Huh? Oh. It didn't pass three to two. Yep. Okay. Further on the tonight. Patrick Foley for variance to raise the roof line on the existing Free family home and increase the living area in the premise number 16, 6th Avenue. Council, you're up. Come back if you change it, Council, in the last case. Excuse me? Come back if you change it. Okay. 
Excuse me, Mr. Chair, members of the board, my name is Patrick Foley. I'm the attorney who represents the proposal for 1616th Ave. I'm joined here tonight by our architect, Rob Pacini. 1616 um, Ave is currently a three family home of 6,837 square feet. Um, this will stay a three family home. The footprint of this building isn't changing at all. It's currently set up as a basement unit, and then uh, that would be unit B, and then unit one and unit two. Um, unit two will be doing a bump out in the back to make it level with uh, unit one. Also, the second unit will raise the roof line. The roof height itself will not change, but rather the edges will go up three feet, seven inches. Uh, the home is already pre-existing non-conforming. The unit sizes will range between 790 square feet and 1,100 square feet. Uh, I'm going to have Rob walk through the building plans. Okay, sure. Uh, my name is Rob Passione. I am the architect, 78 Highland Circle in Wayland, Massachusetts. So I just want you guys to see the existing plans real quick, and then I'll show you what we're proposing. So this is the existing basement plan. We have a unit on this floor with a mechanical space. The first floor, we have a unit on this side, and then a unit on this side. There's a stair here, which goes up to the floor above. The floor above um, has three bedrooms, which is part of that unit. the elevations. So right now this is the front of the building. There's a gable roof with a front porch. The side of the building, this is that uh, second floor unit I was describing. And then this is the extension on the back of the house at the first floor where we'll be adding the <coughs> addition on to the Just a quick look at the site plan. So this is that second floor footprint. I and mean, there's a little uh, existing section on the side here. This is the grayed out area is where we're planning to add the addition at the second floor. So the proposed plans, again, basement, still staying as a single unit. We're just consolidating the capital space a little bit, improving the layout uh, of the basement unit. The first floor will be a single unit now. Again, just improving the layout. Um, There'll be a second entrance. So this is the entrance for this first floor unit. A second entrance will utilize these existing stairs to get up to the second floor. So this second floor will be the third unit. Again, these are the stairs coming up. This is the second floor unit. And all we're doing is expanding over the footprint of the first floor. And just to show you the elevations. So the elevation, this is the front of the building. We're keeping the front porch. We're taking the roof edges, which on the existing building are, are down low. So we're just bumping those up so that we get a better living area in here. Right now with the roof edge coming down, there's a knee wall here and a sloped ceiling. So you basically hit your head on the second floor. So we're just basically raving the roof edge up to utilize the space better. The ridge height is staying the same. So we're just essentially changing the roof edge. Um, looking at the side elevation, so this is the front porch. This is the existing building right here, and then this is the section that we're adding in the back. So we're essentially just extruding the uh, second floor just to match the first floor. Uh, and then again, the side elevation, and then this is the rear. So, so. Oh, How many parking spaces are there? There's a driveway uh, which currently hosts two cars right now, and they use on street parking right now. It's been a three family there for a long time. I know, if you want to increase that, is there any way of making it go down and get some space? Yeah, we can get some more space in the driveway. You really, you really need it because you, you, you're doubling almost the size of that home that's there right now. Because what's there right now, I, I, that was bad, really bad, really bad house right now. Yeah, how many bedrooms do you have now? It's, uh, it's, by the time it's all done, it's going to be uh, two twos and a three. And you have? Uh, we're, we're, adding, we're adding one bedroom now, we'll just change the configuration. So one's going to become a twos, and then we're docking the four down with three. We have seven bedrooms and two bathroom spaces. And that can, we're still down in six bathrooms. We're having one parking on the street already. Yeah, there's no parking on there. When I drove down, I couldn't even park. I know. And then, and then you see the side. The only hard part is getting down the back. I mean, yeah. But you got to do something. I don't know if you could build that up. I don't, I don't, you really got to go back somehow to get back there and park. You know, you're getting three units with two spots. Right. Most people that got a two bedroom are going to have two cars. Right. You get two, four, you're going to have 
at least six cars there with two parking spaces. So, so was this illegal? Three and one? No, it wasn't legal. There's been three for a while now. Yeah. He just he actually ended up gotten it right now. The city gave him a permit for that, but uh this triggered some FAR stuff. Well, you have gotten it and then they stopped, correct? No, they still got it. Still got it. Right? But they were gunning it. Yes, and that triggered the, uh, the variance, yes. That's, that's How much film would you have to bring in if you wanted to pick some parking off? Yeah. I don't know, something but something gotta give them a lot. It's just there's you're gonna have seven bedrooms and you get two parking spaces. How does that work? Especially down there. Huh? Especially down there. Yeah, there's no there's no place anywhere. A couple of free families across the street. Yeah. And they're all parking the street too. Now we're gonna increase this house, double it, and, and have no parking. Give and take. <laughs> do what they do in Cayman. It's just you don't have to park anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. as big as you want, no box. They also have banks that don't give cash. So. Yeah. Banks that don't serious. I went to a bank, they don't It was a cashless bank. You know, I went to services for 15 mm -hmm. cash. And they told me to come back tomorrow. <laughs> I laughed at the guy. I said, you kidding? Mm -hmm. He says, can you come back at 3 o'clock? Mm -hmm. you kidding? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I don't know how anyone else here feels before we go. We can hear from the neighbors. I think we need to figure a problem for that one. Yeah, we I mean, it does, it does go down. For it's, not, it's not crazy. No, it's not. I mean, you could super, build it. You could build it up. Yeah. Any, or you could just drive down. I was going to say, we can make it gradual and just do it in the back. Go right down yeah, to the parking you, back. You put some aggregate. Why don't we look at the park and we come back in the two, two forwards? We'll we'll That's a lot of time. April, uh, April, April. 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 Yeah, April. April. April 24. <laughs> July 25th, uh, July 25th, August uh, 17th, no, uh, August 11th, August 8th, August 8th, August 8th, August 8th, August 8th, I'm not here, August 22nd, so, August 22nd, how many are on there already, you know, I have to talk to you, we put two on tonight, right, that's <laughs> awkward, <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, you'd have that info for my ass, no, we put two on already for the 22nd, right, yes, we pushed them up, right? it's for two or three, it's, yeah, but the one of them's... These aren't going to take, one's going to take a second. Yeah, the other one won't be that bad either, because this going to be so fine. But we can just look at that quick. Because the neighbors spoke. All right, why don't we hear from the neighbors first. Is there anyone here that wants to speak in favor? Second call? Third call? Call a pilot hearing close? Anything from the... No people? Oh, my God. A lot of work's being done. <laughs> I know it ain't you, Mr. Palmer. Uh, you get a letter here from the DPW that uh, they've reviewed the case and have no comments. Opposed or in the side? Please come up and aim an address for the record, please. Yeah, my name is Joe Brandy. I live at 146 Stab. It's directly butter. Um, my main concern with this is obviously the parking. There's also a fire hydrant in front of that house. Mm -hmm. Um, people are constantly parked at that fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. we, we have overflow from Broadway, which you have already discussed. There's a big problem on Broadway I have to deal with. There's a car, I don't know if you saw it, but there's a car that's bubble wrapped in front of a hydrant there. Yeah. That, that's, that's something I have to deal with. At the end of the street, Chubbuck Street, we have somebody who's I believe as a mechanic shop going on, you probably saw the commercial vehicles along the left at the bottom mm -hmm. of Chubbuck and Sixth Ave. So he's running a business on I think he is, I don't know, yeah. but yeah. I know one of my neighbors has called several times because there's cars parked out there with plates that say 20, 21, 22. Um, anyway. The red stickers and blue stickers? Yeah, they're, they're not the right stickers, yeah. that, that's for sure. Yeah, okay. um, so anyway, um, currently, I just want to really emphasize the problem with the parking here. Um, there are two houses in the neighborhood that are not occupied, and we still have problems with the parking. Mm -hmm. There's a three-decker across the street in which the um, woman has decided she doesn't want to rent out the top two floors. So that's all going to come to roost at some point. Someday, sure. Um, as bad as it is now, it's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. um, so 
streets. And just hear it. That's what we try and do. Get parking on this place so you can take it off the street. Well, the other thing here is um, across the street from me, there's an apartment building mm -hmm. six. Well, um, mm -hmm. they play games sometimes where they say, okay, we're going to make sure that we save some in the, in the front by parking on the street and leaving the back. Mm -hmm. I don't need that scenario next door to me. Mm -hmm. That's... Unfortunately, that's everybody. I mean, that that exists today. So you know, the, like the best thing we can do is is try and get, as much try and get some mitigation in the, back in the lot. But well, we can't yeah. force somebody to park in their lot. And that's so it's my biggest pet peeve in the city is. because you drive down these streets yep. on a winter day, and there's mm -hmm. no no on, when there's a snow emergency, everybody's cars are gone. Yep. Drive down today, They're the streets are the streets are packed on both sides. We until we have a parking ordinance in the city that's citywide. Those problems will not, they'll, they'll continue to exist. Mm -hmm. Also, um, and th this has really nothing to do with the current tenant, but the previous tenant actually lived in the house and she thought it was okay to throw a bag of salt and a shovel and and the, the tenants would take care of things. Oh, no, you got a brand new house, that ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be brand new. Well, you, you, can't, you can't tell what neighbors are going to do. But, it, like, the guy we'll investing in all this money, he's going to invest a lot of money in this thing. He's going to make well, sure that he's got tenants that are going to pay their bills and act right. Well, walk that, in front, that's, slip and fall, and so off. American dream. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the other issue yeah. there, too. Um, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's what it is. I mean, literally, that's what happens every day. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, I, I, appreciate, I, I appreciate the sentiment. That's exactly like. But if we don't, if we don't, if we just let it exist today as is, you know, and we don't, we don't approve it. We just say no today, and they keep the exact same place. You have the same problems either way. He has a, he has a seven bedroom, you know, yes, three, exactly. three, 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 uh, three unit house that with the same parking that he has today, which is one off street parking. Well, well, currently it's six bedrooms. They right. propose to add a seven, which means. More cars. Correct. The, the previous. So go ahead. So what, if I give what, what are we talking about here? What, what do you want to see? Okay. I want to see parking in the back, but I'm also opposed to um, adding that bump out in in the back because that's going to uh, block the sun in in the morning hitting my house because I'm next door. So it's going to create a shadow for a point point of the day. Um, adding the. Um, the stairs or whatever's planned there, I'm afraid that that, that may um, increase noise at the side of the house as well. The egress? Yes. I was very surprised not to see that in the first uh, set of plans. I think I, I asked I mean, about now you're building a house. You're putting an engine on. Well, it could be in the back. It could be on yeah. the other side. Yeah. Could be a lot. I mean, that the, there there is. Uh, um, you're going down. You're going down. You're going down. If you go back, you're going down. The further you go back, the further down you go. Okay. Like, and and we can't tell him to put parking in his in his driveway today without approving anything. Like we we can't we can't say today, hey, go put parking in your yes, house. Yes. Or else we go do that to every single house in the city of Quincy. As mentioned, it's it's a non-conforming. Yeah, it's pre-existing. Yeah. Three family. Yeah. Um, I don't. I mean, never should, that, that's all water under the bridge. But it, uh, that's what I was going to say. I don't think it should never ever been. No, of course not. Different times, people in my house. see, I went. I went to the house. The downstairs basement apartment. As the stairs were coming up to the first wall, yeah. and they cut it off, and they put a toilet halfway up. Yes, in, in the, the, the basement. Um, Unbelievable. Yes. Like, who, who was thinking like that because they wanted to get above the pipe? They wanted to get above the sewer. Yeah, you know, so that's what they did. So they cut the stairs off, put a toilet there for them, up, up like six feet. So you got to walk up six feet. And then, and then there's a roof that's probably a foot above your head at that on the trunk. I didn't think they had a foot. I think they had really, like, get in there like this. Yeah, and I mean, the Maybe they didn't have a scenic So then. who lived in there before? I don't know. That was well, bizarre. At this point, bizarre. it doesn't make any difference. But the way that they had it configured down there is that if family was living on the right-hand side, 
it was okay. The doors would be open or unlocked, but when they rented to people outside of the family, that door was locked. If somebody had to get out yeah. the side, they couldn't do it unless okay, somebody unlocked the door. Right. But that, that's water under well, the bridge. It's all, it's it's got change, of course, but I mean, it's got I just it. can't believe that if that was that, what was the rest of the house like? I can't even imagine what it was like. I got the other script. It's got it now. Yeah. Being held together with two pigs. Yes, um, they, they let it go quite a bit. Yeah, um, we're looking great. We're not wasting it. Right. So what would you like to see? No well, stairs, uh, moving uh, stairs? I, if they could move them to the back, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that would be better. There you go. Um, well, as, as I said, the, the main thing is, is the parking right. really. Um, That's what we feel. And I'd like to have better neighbors, although he, he can't control that. But <laughs> no, he can't. Well, but he can't. He's going to be renting. He can't. Well, uh, uh, across the street, there. Oh, those people, I don't know. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just saying they, they, they have you a, get a choice. You can move too. <laughs> yes, but so I, I've, I've lived there my whole life. I don't I feel know. that I should live. I should no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, but if it's that bad. Why would you put yourself through that every single day? Well, for the most part, I like my neighbors and I enjoy oh, so the neighborhood. Oh, okay. So the neighbors are good then? Yes. Oh, you just said I wish I had better neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> On that side. <laughs> because as I, as I was going to allude, when they did shovel, they ought, they throw snow onto my side. And the way, oh, I didn't mention the way. What happened once in my house? <laughs> well, they, they never shovel, and I, I me and another it's neighbor. Even better, don't shovel. To, um, some snow over there. Me and the neighbor two doors down used to uh, shovel for that woman occasionally um, until her her um, children moved in, and then we stopped. Right. But, um, the the other thing about that is the current configuration of the house is when we do get snow. On that side between um, the White House and the, the yep. greenhouse, whatever you want to call it now, because it's anyway, because of the configuration of the house, they get three inches over there, and I get a foot and a half drifted against my house. And I think if, it, if, it, if they're allowed to go up, that's going to increase the drift on my house. So, the, the, I know exactly what you're saying. My buddy's got a garage, right? Our driveways go together. I get six feet, he gets two inches. Not even, not yeah. walls clean. Because he's got a driveway. He's got a garage. I gotta build a garage. That's why I said I was jealous earlier, the person <laughs> building a garage. I get it. He's gonna change that. I mean, he's got he's got he's got a right to build this house. Come on. He's got a right to build it up. It's a three family house. He, he owns it, he's owned it for a while, I guess. Um, so just a, a separate I question because I, I would be interested in doing the same thing to my house. To be honest with you, uh, we're raising. We're we're raising. What's that? What do you got? Two family? Um, it, it's not listed as a two family, but my father bought it as a two family, and he we're rented out taxes for a single family. He rented out the, um, the, the second floor, but then that was in the sixties. So right. from the question, 70s on, question. Yes. is it a two family? No. Your taxes you're paying for a single family, correct? Yes. Yeah, so it's a single family. Yes, but it, it, it's, it's currently configured at, with a kitchen. And, It'll and be a three family, but correct. if it's a single family, oh, it's a single oh, okay. family. Okay, well, my, my house is not the, it's not really what we're talking about. No, but you are. <laughs> you want to do that to your house. Okay, come back with it, whatever. We have no one. What do you, what's, what's, what else do you need? That, that's it. All right, thanks. Is there anyone else? Postman on the side. Can we move the date, gentlemen, to call our pilot game and close? Can we get a parking plan? What else get do a, we need? Get a parking plan. What else? Moving the porch to the rear? Yeah, if you can move the porch to the rear. If you can move the uh, stairs to the rear. At least look for it. Take a look at it. Then we're coming back. 20, Sorry. August 22nd. ZBA 23-51, Patrick Foley for advantage to raise the roof lines of the existing three-family home to increase the living area on the premise number 16, 6th Avenue, Quincy. Make a motion to move to August 22nd. On the motion, stand then, all in favor? Aye. Aye, opposed, so move.
Close the door, John. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Come on.